And if, and if a person is white, they're most likely to be strained, restrained on shooting a white subject. So um, when we see incidents like like the incidents that we see, when 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 black people are shot, shot and killed by law enforcement, um, it is majority of times racially biased because it's in it's in the institution itself to uh, be racially biased against black people. So you know we can't have we, everybody says we have to. Um, change the system, the system is broken. The system isn't broken, the system is designed to do that to black people. So we actually have to tear down that system and rebuild the system, a system of policing that's, ba that's based on um, freedom, justice, and equality, and fair dealing, and compassion for everybody that doesn't matter what, what color they are. And so, so you think by uh, that, that um, um, on the cases we just seen, uh, if the the men would have been white, the policemen won't have shot them. There, there would have been more. It would have been more restraint. Um, we can't, you know, with a hundred percent certainty that they that they wouldn't have have shot them. But but historically, these incidents always happen to to black people. And, and they rarely happen to white people. Why? Well, like I said, the study shows that racial bias, conscious or unconscious, um, makes a person shoot or not shoot a subject. I mean, and, and those are studies that have been done by universities. Um, and even the last biggest study, um, the police on police shooting task force that was done by Governor Patterson in New York State because they wanted to see why Black cops, um, off duty or working in plain clothes undercover, was constantly being shot by their white counterparts. And this and these type of incidents never happened in the reverse, where an undercover or off duty plain clothes white cop was shot by a uniformed black cop. So that has never happened in the history of New York State. So, but it, in the reverse, it always happened. And that was one of the basis um, findings that racial bias plays in the decision for a cop to shoot or don't shoot a subject. So does it mean that the officer are racist? That means the institution is racist. That means the perception of black people that we have in, 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 in our lives. Um, we cannot deny that racism exists. Racism is part of the American society. So we, we cannot um, be ignorant to say that those, so, those same attitudes um, that people have for black people, they, those same perceptions that people have for black people, we, we cannot say that that doesn't transfer over into, in, into the institution of law enforcement. So do you think that uh, the police, black lives matter less than white lives? History has shown that black lives don't matter um, to law enforcement. Black lives don't matter to the justice system. Um, like, I, like we stated, you know, policing was created upon the oppression of, 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 of runaway slaves and maintaining the status quo in, in, in slavery. And, and it hasn't changed. Stop, question, and frisk, or what they call stop and frisk, is the same thing that they used to do to the, to, to the runaway slaves or the, or, or the slaves. They used to stop them, ask them their paperwork. If they did not have the proper paperwork, they would hang them. You know, and it's no different than what um, immigration is doing now to our Latino brothers and sisters all across the nation in checking people for their paperwork. That is the basis. Um, oppression is the basis of policing in, in, in the name of public safety. But as you see with the crime problems that we have in the black community, it hasn't solved that. So, you know, we must, we must really continue to have conversation um, to change the conditions and to address um, the racial biases in the institution of law enforcement. Uh, what do you think about the fact that the policeman who killed Alton Sterling has not been, has not been prosecuted? Are you surprised? No, I'm not surprised. Um, when white cops accidentally kill black cops, they're not prosecuted. So if a black cop don't have a chance in justice, or a black retired cop doesn't have a chance for justice, the ordinary black person has no chance in hell to get justice. When they kill one of their own, what do you think about a regular 